So hello everyone, today I want to show you a little bit the basics of using VJ Machine for your party or to uh, create your own music videos. And uh, what I want to explain today is just here the uh, the upper part, yeah. So where you see the status and the input section. So for that, I switch off all effects and the distortions that you clearly can see what is here on the screen. So I also switch off the um, videos and um, go here in. The techno for example scenario and choose this 3d scenario so what you see here left up clear you can switch off the VJ machine then you see here the status bar of the or status um, of the sound input so uh, and you can see what the VJ machine have analyzed what beat per minute so this song have 127 at the moment and um, yeah, and that's, that's important. You need to see the sound volume here um, because the video machine is doing the synchronization to the music completely automatically. Yeah, uh, So you can uh, set points yeah, by clicking effects or changing scenes, but the whole synchronization of the 3D scenarios and also how videos came in is already done automatically by the VJ machine. So you don't have to concentrate on this, you better concentrate on a, on a cool visual show with the effects and the movies you want to bring in additionally. So uh, how the scene selection work now? Here are um, overall six styles, ambient, techno, funk, disco, minimal, simple. Ah, sorry, forgot it. Uh, here you can completely switch off the output screen, yeah. And you can also change the lightning of the output screen. So make it a little bit darker when you have, for example, LED walls, uh, which have too much light or an LED display, whatever. Yeah, you can change here also without changing on the device, uh, the brightness. <coughs> so here you can completely uh, un unlock the, uh, the inputs for effects and scenes. Uh, it's good when you uh, have created your configuration and now you want to, to leave and want nobody to change something. Yeah? So, but now to the scene selection. As I said, uh, six, uh, six scenario, uh, six worlds, let's say, yeah, from different styles. And you can scroll here and you see all the scenes are in these different styles. Um, you can also here, you see it already, uh, you can all the time see um, well, let, let me take here, uh, we take this scene, so what you see now, this scene is running, so I clicked on it, it directly uh, is chosen and is running on the uh, on the output screen, you see it here in the monitor and you have also a picture of the second monitor, um, and now you uh, see here with the small blinking light here that this scene is running and you see also here a little blue light the blue light here means that this is the next scene is uh, played after this one the scene is going around about three to four minutes it's a real 3d rendered scene in real time to the music so there are really objects moving to the music it's not just videos are running there and you can also choose by switching here the small uh, blue one to change what is the next scene you want to run. Yeah, so I say, okay, I like this one. The next one, after three minutes, I want this scene to run. Then you see the small buttons here below the status, what is running and what is played next. And by that, when you choose here red one, they will go out of the selection because uh, VJ machine, as you as you have seen, is automatically going after a scene is finished to the next scene, and he chooses out of the activated scenes and then set which scenes he randomly choose. So when let's say I deactivate here all in this scenario uh, under funk. And um, yeah, let just this two here on. Uh, at the end, he will run just these two scenes here afterwards, again and again. So by that you can also limit the scene are played. Yeah. So when you say I want just one scene all the time, 
you deactivate or de deactivate by making the small button here red uh, all other scenes in the style. So the the first style, as you can see, here is a number of sets of scenes. Uh, but if you want to make a complete new set, your set with uh, scenes from all the different styles here, you can also create a user set the same way. And here in these user sets, you find all the scenes from all the different styles. Yeah, so you can create two user sets with that here. So uh, that, that's it at the end. So as you've seen, I've switched off all the effects here down. So um, you see purely the scenes are running. Yeah. And but now now I want to use some video. I don't want 3D scenarios. I want uh, movies to run. Uh, I prefer today, I don't know, I prefer movies. So I go in the movie, movie section and first of all I have to choose a directory. Yeah? So I go down here to directory and I've created me in, in, in folder, skate park, avi. There are a lot of small BJ videos in. Uh, I downloaded from a very famous uh, VJ content site. So you can use every uh, uh, content you have or from the uh, different VJ content portals or create your own videos if you want. Uh, you can you can use them in VJ machine. So what is happening now? Uh, you see that he already built up here the, uh, the videos. So it's a lot of small VJ videos, a whole set you know, with very small videos. So. And uh, yeah, now it's a question. So I'm, I'm here at movie. Uh, it's not activated. It's not started yet. So but I said I want pure, pure my videos. I don't want these 3D scenarios here. So I go to pure, set the interval to zero so that it's running again and again and the transparency to 100. And then I activate and what you will see is that VJ machine now is just playing the videos purely without 3D scenarios. And also here you can then see, okay, this is the next video is chosen. This is actually running here to two seconds still to run and now switch to the other one. And very cool, VJ machine is doing the switch between the videos directly synchronized to the music. and have a lot of other video effects yeah uh, playing backwards forwards making window and window blur effects and so on. a lot of effects uh, you find here down in the effects and distortion section which you can then uh, uh, choose but this is not part of this video i just wanted to show you how you get videos in how you can select scenes uh, and what about these these uh, status section here up uh, but perhaps I say now, yeah, but let me mix these scenes. This I want to show you. So I, I change here to random style. So it's not top mix, it's not pure. It's uh, now mixed 3D scenarios and, uh, and movies. And randomly, sometimes pure video like now, sometimes tops mix the video, uh, bottom mixed or also playing around with the transparency here. You can see the scenes running background. So also with the pure 3D scenes, pure videos, you can make a lot of effects and have a cool show. Yeah? Uh, but the extended way is then to use auto FX uh, effects and distortions. But this, uh, as I said, I will show you in one of the next videos. Thank you. Have fun. Bye.